In classical mechanics, the gravitational potential at a location is equal to the work energy transferred per unit mass that would be needed to move the object from a fixed reference location to the location of the object. It is analogous to the electric potential with mass playing the role of charge. The reference location, where the potential is zero, is by convention infinitely far away from any mass, resulting in a negative potential at any finite distance. In mathematics, the gravitational potential is also known as the Newtonian potential and is fundamental in the study of potential theory. It may also be used for solving the electrostatic and magnetostatic fields generated by uniformly charged or polarized ellipsoidal bodies. <laughs> potential energy The gravitational potential v at a location is the gravitational potential energy u at that location per unit mass. V equals u m. Display style v equals frac u m, where m is the mass of the object. Potential energy is equal in magnitude, but negative to the work done by the gravitational field moving a body to its given position in space from infinity. If the body has a mass of one unit, then the potential energy to be assigned to that body is equal to the gravitational potential. So the potential can be interpreted as the negative of the work done by the gravitational field moving a unit mass in from infinity. In some situations, the equations can be simplified by assuming a field that is nearly independent of position. For instance, in a region close to the surface of the Earth, the gravitational acceleration, g, can be considered constant. In that case, the difference in potential energy from one height to another is, to a good approximation, linearly related to the difference in height. Delta U approximately equals M G Delta H Display style delta U approximately M G delta H. Topic Mathematical form The potential V of a unit mass m at a distance x from a point mass of mass m can be defined as the work W that needs to be done by an external agent to bring the unit mass in from infinity to that point. V x equals W m equals 1 m infinity x f d x equals 1 m infinity x g m m x 2 d x equals minus g m x Display style v math bf x equals frac w m equals frac one m int limits underscore n a t caret x math bf f c d o t d math bf x equals frac one m int limits underscore n a t caret x frac g m m x caret two d x equals frac g m x, where g is the gravitational constant and f is the gravitational force. The potential has units of energy per unit mass, e.g., J per kilogram in the MKS system. By convention, it is always negative where it is defined, and as x tends to infinity, it approaches zero. The gravitational field, and thus the acceleration of a small body in the space around the massive object, is the negative gradient of the gravitational potential. Thus the negative of a negative gradient yields positive acceleration toward a massive object. Because the potential has no angular components, its gradient is a equals minus g m x three x equals minus g m x two x caret Display style math bf a equals frac gm x caret three math bf x equals frac gm x caret two hat math bf x, where x is a vector of length x pointing from the point mass toward the small body and 
x caret display style hat math bf x is a unit vector pointing from the point mass toward the small body the magnitude of the acceleration therefore follows an inverse square law a equals g m x 2 display style math bf a equals frac g m x caret 2 the potential associated with a mass distribution is the superposition of the potentials of point masses. If the mass distribution is a finite collection of point masses, and if the point masses are located at the points x1, xn and have masses m1, Minnesota, then the potential of the distribution at the point x is v x equals i equals 1 n minus g m i x minus x i display style v math bf x equals sum underscore i equals 1 caret n frac g m underscore i math bf x math bf x underscore i if the mass distribution is given as a mass measure dm on three-dimensional Euclidean space R3, then the potential is the convolution of minus g, r, with dm. In good cases this equals the integral v x equals minus r 3 g x minus r d m R display style v math bf x equals int underscore math bf r caret three frac g math bf x math bf r dm math bf r, where x minus r is the distance between the points x and r. If there is a function rho r representing the density of the distribution at r, so that dm r equals rho r dv r, where dv r is the Euclidean volume element, then the gravitational potential is the volume integral v x equals minus r three g x minus r rho r d v r display style v math bf x equals in underscore math bf r caret 3 frac g math bf x math bf r rho math bf r d v math bf r if v is a potential function coming from a continuous mass distribution rho r then rho can be recovered using the laplace operator delta rho x equals 1 4 pi g delta v x display style rho math bf x equals frac 1 4 pi g delta 5 math bf x this holds pointwise whenever rho is continuous and is zero outside of a bounded set in general, the mass measure dm can be recovered in the same way if the Laplace operator is taken in the sense of distributions. As a consequence, the gravitational potential satisfies Poisson's equation. See also Green's function for the three-variable Laplace equation and Newtonian potential. The integral may be expressed in terms of known transcendental functions for all ellipsoidal shapes, including the symmetrical and degenerate ones. These include the sphere, where the three semiaxes are equal, the oblate see reference ellipsoid, and prolate spheroids, where two semiaxes are equal, the degenerate ones where one semiaxis is infinite the elliptical and circular cylinder and the unbounded sheet where two semiaxes are infinite. All these shapes are widely used in the applications of the gravitational potential integral apart from the constant g, with being a constant charge density to electromagnetism. Topic. Spherical symmetry A spherically symmetric mass distribution behaves to an observer completely outside the distribution as though all of the mass was concentrated at the center, and thus effectively as a point mass, by the Shell theorem. 
On the surface of the Earth, the acceleration is given by so-called standard gravity g, approximately 9.8 meters per square second, although this value varies slightly with latitude and altitude. The magnitude of the acceleration is a little larger at the poles than at the equator because Earth is an oblate spheroid. Within a spherically symmetric mass distribution, it is possible to solve Poisson's equation in spherical coordinates. Within a uniform spherical body of radius r and density ρ, the gravitational force g inside the sphere varies linearly with distance r from the center, giving the gravitational potential inside the sphere, which is v r equals 2 3 pi g ρ r 2 minus 3 r 2 r r display style v r equals frac 2 3 pi g rho r caret 2 3 r caret 2 q quad r l e q r which differentiably connects to the potential function for the outside of the sphere see the figure at the top topic general relativity In general relativity, the gravitational potential is replaced by the metric tensor. When the gravitational field is weak and the sources are moving very slowly compared to light speed, general relativity reduces to Newtonian gravity, and the metric tensor can be expanded in terms of the gravitational potential. <laughs> Multipole expansion The potential at a point x is given by v x equals minus r three g x minus r d m r Display style v math b f x equals in underscore math b r caret three f r a c g math b f x math b f r d m math b f r. The potential can be expanded in a series of Legendre polynomials. Represent the points x and r as position vectors relative to the center of mass. The denominator in the integral is expressed as the square root of the square to give v x equals minus r 3 g x 2 minus 2 x r plus r 2 d m r equals minus 1 x r 3 g 1 minus 2 r x cos theta plus r x 2 dm r display style begin aligned v math b f x and equals int underscore math b r caret 3 frac g sqrt math b f x caret 2 minus 2 math b f x c d o t math b f r plus math b f r caret 2 dm math b f r and equals frac 1 math b f x int underscore math b r caret 3 g left sqrt 1 to 2 frac r math b f x cos theta plus left frac r math b f x right caret 2 right dm math b f r end aligned where in the last integral r equals r and theta is the angle between x and r the integrand can be expanded as a Taylor series in z equals r x by explicit calculation of the coefficients. A less laborious way of achieving the same result is by using the generalized binomial theorem. The resulting series is the generating function for the Legendre polynomials, 1 minus 2 x z plus z 2 minus 1 2 equals n equals 0 infinity z n p n x display style left 1 to 2 x z plus z caret 2 right caret frac 1 2 equals sum underscore n equals 0 caret n f t z caret n p underscore n x valid for x 1 and z. Outside a sphere, centered at the center of mass, that encloses the system V x equals minus G x n equals 
0 infinity r x n p n cuz theta d m r equals minus g x 1 plus r x cuz theta plus r x 2 3 cuz 2 theta minus 1 2 plus dm r display style begin aligned v math bf x and equals frac g math bf x in sum underscore n equals 0 caret in t left frac r math bf x right caret n p underscore n cos theta dm math bf r and equals frac g math bf x int left 1 plus left frac r math bf x right cos theta plus left frac C R Math BF X right carrot two FRAC three cos carrot two theta minus one two plus C D O T S right DM Math BF R end aligned the integral R cos theta DM display style int R cos theta DM is the component of the center of mass in the x direction. This vanishes because the vector x emanates from the center of mass. So bringing the integral under the sign of the summation gives V X equals minus g m x minus g x r x 2 3 cos 2 theta minus 1 2 d m r plus Display style v math bf x equals frac gm math bf x frac g math bf x int left frac r math bf x right caret two frac three cos caret two theta minus one two dm math bf r plus c d o t s. This shows that elongation of the body causes a lower potential in the direction of elongation, and a higher potential in perpendicular directions, compared to the potential due to a spherical mass. If we compare cases with the same distance to the center of mass, if we compare cases with the same distance to the surface, the opposite is true. <laughs> Numerical values The absolute value of gravitational potential at a number of locations with regards to the gravitation from the Earth, the Sun, and the Milky Way is given in the following table, i.e. an object at Earth's surface would need 60 MJ per kilogram to leave Earth's gravity field, another 900 MJ per kilogram to also leave the Sun's gravity field and more than 130 GJ per kilogram to leave the gravity field of the Milky Way. The potential is half the square of the escape velocity. Compare the gravity at these locations. Topic. See also Applications of Legendre polynomials in physics Standard gravitational parameter GM. Geoid Geopotential Notes <laughs>